In this video, we'll be working on this Pontiac Torrent. The vehicle has an inside broken door latch where the door will not open from the inside. You can only open the door from the outside. This repair will work on both the Pontiac Torrent and the Chevy Equinox. So to do the repair, first of all, we're going to take off this door panel on the door. Um, as you can see, the hinge, it looks like everything is fine. And these are the tools that I'll be using to take off of the um, the door panel. These are door trim tools. You'll find these tools in the linked in the description and as well as all the other items that I use for this repair. And the first thing I'm going to do is there's a screw behind the latch here. And this screw has to come out. And if you guys can see where my finger is at the top, that part of that leg of the latch is where the where the um, the door latch broke, which holds the clip that hooks onto the rod that pulls and pop makes the door open. So the piece, the, the plastic piece that's connected to that broke. So when you pull the latch, the door will not pop open. It won't release the lock on the door from the inside. So what I'll do is get behind here with my drill and drill this out. It's a simple Phillips screwdriver. At this point, you simply want to pull on the pull the latch up and just pull on the handle. I mean, on the uh, bezel, and it'll come off. I'm doing this with one hand, guys, so it's a little awkward. Here, what I'm going to work on is pulling off this door trim using these um, plastic door trim removal tools. And you simply want to get in behind these. And there's clips under these pieces, trim pieces. And the easiest thing to do is to try to get under there. But sometimes these things can be kind of tricky. So you want to take your time and try to get to them the best you can. So I've managed to get some of them with the clips loose and then you just want to just all you have to do is just slowly drag your way down the bezel piece until you hit the next clip and then you pull and pop them and they'll just come off pretty easy with a tool like this and these tools are plastic so they don't score up anything now I've gotten the bezel off and I'll just put that to the side Now you can see inside of here, you have these two um, two bolts. You want to take use um, a socket wrench and remove those. These are actually holding the door panel on. So I just went ahead and took care of getting those out. With power tools, guys, this makes this job a lot faster. It's a it's a really simple job, and it's it's a it's a pretty quick job. It's I mean it's a maybe a twenty minutes if you're if you already have the part. It won't it'll it'll be twenty. It's a twenty minute job at max. And I just use a little um, nut setter adapter to remove those. Now what we're going to do is go around the outside edges of the door and do the same thing we did with the trim. We're going to pop these all the way around and 
You just want to do the same thing, pop one and then slide down and pop the next one and just keep going. And again, with these tools, it makes this job very easy having the right tools, guys. So they're all in the descriptions, the things that I use and recommend. And just going to keep popping these tabs and they're all going to pop pretty easy to do. No big deal. And now I've gotten that off. And you have this padding on the back of the door. This is soundproofing. And this is all glued around the edges. And you pretty much just take that padding off. Just get something sharp and cut the glue you see behind there. And to get behind the door for the inside door latch replacement, you're going to just cut again around the edges of this foam and you can get behind there and as you can see the latch when I pull on it it's loose but there's no motion of the door opening and here is where it broke right up in there Let's see if I can get the camera to focus if you can see there's a is there's a break in there and you see this clip piece this is the piece that when you pull on that handle, it's supposed to make the door pop open, but it's not connected anymore because it's broken, so it won't allow the door to do anything. You see, there's the lock. The lock is working, but when you pull on the handle, the handle is not doing the same function. As you can see, like I can move it manually with my hand. That's what's supposed to happen when you pull the latch. And so that's where the, where the uh, actual pieces break, broke from. Now, see, to get these clips off, these are like swivel clips. So, basically, you want to be careful with these clips because they're very fragile. But you want to push on them, and they just swing to the side. As you can see on this one, as I pull it down, you'll see the broken part that is connected to this, that the piece that broke. And if you can see the clip, that goes on that metal rod. And then this piece is, would be normally connected to the latch in the back of there right where I'm pointing but it's broken so you don't have that piece to work with so what we're going to do next is remove this piece to get to this piece and get this off so that we can do the fix there's this uh, star bolt and I believe it's the same it's a 30 T30 to get that off and again, guys, sometimes having your power tools, this is the 12-volt um, DeWalt power tools. Having those really help speed up the job and get the things that your, your hand strength can't work with. So you just simply remove that T30 star bolt out, and then you see it's loose. And with this piece, you just want to push to the left, and it'll there's a you'll see where it slides out at. And then you just simply take it off, and there's a spring, guys. Make sure you're cognizant of where this spring is that's on the that's on that piece, and that you put it back on there where you got it off from. And um, basically, what you're going to do is once you get it off, you're going to do everything in reverse order. You can see these clips, and you can see how you're just going to go to the left. And then on the back of here, you have a clip similar to the brown one. It's a black one that's holding the lock part of it on. And you just flip that one off the same way, and then this will slide right out. And this is what it looks like from the back. And you see the spring. Make sure you guys pay attention to where that spring is and where it came from, where it was hooked to. And I'm trying to get to where you can see where it broke, actually broke at. And that piece is no longer there. And to finish this job, guys, you simply want to just take this lock switch and remove it from this bracket. And then put keep it to and then keep it to the side. And then when you get the new lock piece, then you're going to um, you're going to just reattach this uh, bracket to the lock piece. And then you're just going to do everything in reverse order. You're going to slide it. You're going to put your clips back on. And then you're going to slide this back into place. And 
then you're going to screw everything down and put everything back how you got it. But that was that was it, guys. It was a, it's a simple fix. Once you're in there, it's not something that's overwhelming, so it it won't be too much of an issue. Um, the things I recommend for this repair will be actually in the um, they'll actually be in the description, so you guys can check those things out. And uh, good luck on these repairs. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll have more videos like this and more coming. So thanks for watching.